All right, so this is my response to the Teen Mom OG premiere that happened last night. I'll say I've watched a fairly limited amount of Teen Mom in the past. Um, I've watched maybe the first two seasons, like first season and a half of Teen Mom 2. Um, I think what stuck out to me about the Teen Mom OG as opposed to the Teen Mom 2, Teen Mom 2... All the babies are very much accidental from what I can tell, right? Um, and so, like, the reason why those babies were not had were, were had is because either a lack of access to birth control or, um, you know, being in the South and they didn't believe in abortion or whatever it is, right? Um, what I found really interesting about watching Teen Mom OG is that these people were actually, like, you know, they had kids, some were married, um, or, like, intended to be married, um, so, like, the kids already existed, and when they were thinking about having more kids, that's what I found interesting, right, because it shifted from, oh, okay, here, like, in Teen Mom 2, like, they're living with the fallout of having an unintended child. In Teen Mom OG, they're considering having more for the same reasons that, like, most people consider having kids, and I guess I just wanted to use the Teen Mom OG premiere to kind of analyze those reasons why people want to have kids, um, because I think it is pretty telling. So for me, the first thing that I saw, um, or the thing that like that stands out in my mind is um, one of the the dads. You know, they already had, I want to say, three girls. Um, and he was determined to have a boy. And so, you know, despite like having three kids already being hard, this guy is determined, like determined, determined, determined to have a boy. Right. And so I asked, I was like, why, why is he so determined to have a boy? And so believe it or not, like, you know, when I came back from commercial, the, the girlfriend or whatever asked like, why do you care so much about having a boy? He literally had no reason. He was like, I don't know. I just, I just do. And then that was just kind of accepted as like a valid reason um, to have a baby. Like, I just do. I just do want a boy. Um, like, what is that? Like, in what other realm of life does that make like any sense at all? Um so to me, it's like you have this like romantically minded notion of like what raising a boy would be like in your head. And so you're willing to create a whole life that has a 50% chance of fulfilling that romantic notion. And what does that romantic notion actually consist of? Like it pretty much, you know, consists of tossing around the old pigskin in the backyard and what, like, having them circumcised, you know, like, what, like, that just seems very thin, it seems like a very thin reason to have another child, because you want a boy, like, I don't see, it just doesn't make sense, like, um, one of my coworkers did a similar thing, where she, um, had actually had two boys, and, uh, wanted a girl, and so, we had a situation where, she uh, was very disappointed that her second son was a boy um, and had wanted uh, that child to be a, a girl, right? And so she, again, I mean, just the same thing that she was like, well, I guess I have to start working on another one now. And so, like, how does it make any sense? Like, you're willing to make a whole person, you're, you're like, you know, t rolling the dice, flipping a coin on whether or not they're going to be the gender you want. And you're just, like, subjecting them to a whole life of, like, 85 years or whatever. It's absurd. And I think it just goes to show that there's actually, like, no justification required for having children, which is absurd um, because it's such a big task. Like, it's such a big um, decision that you're making for someone else. It's such a big thing that you're putting someone through, like, life. And for it to require, like, no, not even, like, a license, not even, like, that kind of stuff, like, because that would be a lot but like which I mean it could be valuable but but I'm saying like 
to not even have a semblance of a justification to have a child um, is just like to me like the height of absurdity and for that to just be like accepted like if I said you know if I said um I'm gonna buy a motorcycle people would be like oh like you'd better think through that like you'd better look at the insurance better look at the costs you better really you know look into the safety of that and so like there's no just you know there's there's all this justification people scrutinize your actions in all these other ways but Having kids is this one way where it's like, oh, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, so I think um, that really stuck out to me. Um, I think also in addition to that whole like, I want a a boy, I want a girl thing. I think, yeah, like it just shows that like you have, you're already like enforcing gender norms on them. You're already projecting ideas of like what it will be like to raise them and what kind of things they'll like and what kind of things they'll want to do with you. Um, because why else would you be like, I want a boy other than like these sort of like gender specific attributes of being with a child, right? And so you're already like pressuring them into those, which to me is just very dumb and is not how like parenting should go at all. Um, it seemed like another reason that people, um, had children or like, this is maybe an add on to that last one, but is the idea of, like, this romantic notion um, or this, like, starry-eyed notion of, like, what family is or, you know, like, there are times when um, they'll they'll show these, like, little moments that are supposed to be, like, the cute, loving, like, oh, sentimental, like, unforgettable, like, you know, the, the, the um, quiet beauty and, you know, profoundness of raising children. And it's, like, them, like, you know, eating dinner together or whatever and, like, somebody be, like, joking around and it's, like, uh, that's like the whole romantic notion, you know, like that's what you do this for is like these big camera moments and then some little like jokes here and there, like, um, you know, um, people have this, I like it's, I think the other thing is it's like purely egotistical, um, you know, like people have this romantic notion of what their life is and what it's supposed to entail and the milestones. And they have these like romantic sentimental notions of, Oh, and I'll have, you know, a family and the, the pitter patter of little feet uh in the uh in the kitchen and y'all the kids around and we'll all sit around a fire and read a storybook. And it's like like they have just like a really weird romantic notion of like what it is like to have a kid and like what family is like and it's to me it's just a little little absurd. A little absurd. Um so I think um Another um, reason I felt like I saw in that show to have a child, um, according to these people, I don't think it's a reason, but was sort of like, oh, because it happened, you know, so people like can't effectively use birth control, which or they can't get it, which, you know, again, in the South um, or Republican states in general, um, terrible stuff. Let's see, the other thing was um, that they, like, sort of viewed it as a sign of commitment. Like, boy, I feel really good about our relationship. We may or may not be married or whatever, but I feel really good about our relationship, and I think it's time we had a kid because I want to commit. I want to take our relationship to the next level, and I want to go deeper, and I want to, you know, I want to be solid, a solid, you know, couple. And it's, like, clearly having kids is not necessarily a commitment to the person. Like, like most of the people in this show are not together with their children's parents, right? They're, they're not together with like the father or mother of their child. Um, having kids is not a commitment. It just means that you're bound to that person for life, whether or not you want to be. Um, it's kind of terrifying. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, like, I really don't know what reasons people could possibly have for having a child that are not, like, egotistical, romantic, sentimental, uh, not, like, nonsense at the end of the day. Um, like, or, you know, they feel like they're fulfilling, uh, some kind of life script, which I think I'll probably have to do another video on the life script here soon, but Um, all right, I guess I'm going to call it a day on this one and, uh, talk to you in the next video.